series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use Parse.com to make your own login system for your iPhone app and um, a leaderboard system, which really could be any kind of online database, but I'm just going to use a leaderboard system, so that seems to be a popular use for Parse databases. Um, so you go to Parse.com, you need to sign up. Just click on the sign up button here. Um, I already have an account, so I'm not going to go through this, but really, it's really easy. Just an email and password, and you can put in the name of your first app. Um, you can add as many apps as you want to it. All right, so I'm logged into my account here. The nice thing about Parse is that you have um, the ability to start out for free using the app, using the Parse features free of charge and they don't start charging you to really to the point that where you should be making money anyway which is kind of nice it's a, a nice way that, um, that they do that so you have access to just about everything here free of charge um, so let's go ahead you may have already created an app but I'm just gonna say uh, my test app and hit create and so when you create an app, it, you get, you know, you, this is what's called the dashboard. It shows you all the apps you've made. Um, what I recommend is you just kind of qu click on the quick start. And it takes you to this screen here that kind of guides you through what you want to do. Well, we're going to um, include, it's going to be data, right? So we click on that. Um, and we're going to use it for mobile and for iOS. And we're going to, this tutorial is going to show you how to do it in Swift, although it's really just as easy to, to do it in Objective-C. Um, click there. And you could click on um, existing or new. Even though it's a new project, I choose to go existing and only because I think you get more freedom. Like it, So if you hit new project, it's going to download a already created Xcode project. And I like to... Do everything from scratch so I go I'm going to choose existing and click on download the SDK and so then it, it gives you the steps here of what you need to do it really does step you right through it but um, for sake of tutorial I'll um, step you through it as well so if you go into Xcode we could um, create a new project and just going to do a single view, iPhone, and we'll say parse login system. Um, we're going to do this in Swift and hit next and hit create. Okay, so I have uh, this project called parse login system. And there's definitely, you know, the, the reason I want to show you this is that I've gone through this. There's definitely some steps you have to take here to get this to work correct. There we go. So we downloaded this library right here. And the two that we really need are the bolts and the parse. And so I'm going to show you what you want to do is you want to just kind of drag them over and drop them right into your project and make sure copy is selected, hit finish. And there you go, you have them there. Um, these other ones, uh, maybe in uh, later tutorials we'll go over, it's how you can implement like Facebook and Twitter into your app um, in conjunction with Parse. But for right now, that's all you should need to do what we're going to need to do um, from parts that is now uh, if we go excuse me if we take a look at the site the next thing it talks about is you have to add some other dependencies some other frameworks um, they actually have a list of all the frameworks you need right here um, and so this takes a little bit it's a, I'm not gonna lie it's a little tedious to do this but um, once you have them all set, then you're good to go. And so what you have to do is you kind of scroll down. You know, we're in our um, target here. And you go down to link frameworks and libraries. You're just going to hit the little plus sign. And what you do is you're just going to kind of work your way through here. Um, audio, the audio toolbox. Hit add. 
CF networking, hit add. Okay, and that's all of them. So now here's the next step, and this is going to be a test to make sure you didn't um, miss any. And uh, you know, I'm sure it's pretty easy to miss some. So it'll be um, this is what you want to do is you want to make sure in your app delegate that you import both of these. And so I'm going to go in app delegate. And for the most part, this will be like the last time, first and last time we need to go in app delegate. Um, that's good. We're not getting an error there. That means that we um, imported these correctly. Um, and then you come in here and uh, really all you need is uh, this line here. These two are optional. Um, this is the key one that you need, the parse set application ID. All right. And you, this, this, this information here is specific to your app. Right, um, so it's important that you do this. Don't copy down mine. Um, I'll be deleting this account anyway. But um, just so you can see here, you can you want to throw that into this first one here. They did finish launching with options. Paste that right in there, and if everything went well, you have no errors, which is great. And um, then you could actually go into one of your parse files. We're going to do that. Let's go. We're going to, so we're, we're just scrolling down here and we're getting the next little um, import. So let's go into our view controller Swift. We're going to paste in that import parse. And then we're just going to grab this little bit of test code just to make sure it worked. And all this is going to do here is it's going to create a new table in parse and actually save an, an object in that table um, named foo and it's going to give it the it's going to make it equal to bar um, so we're going to put that in the view did load right um, awesome no errors so if we run this um, we should get like a little print at the bottom that says object has been uh, object has been saved and that should mean that it that it worked okay let's take a look Come on. First login system. This is obviously just an empty screen since we didn't do anything yet. And it says object has been saved. And But the real um, deal sealer is we have to go in here and check. Let's go to core, which is all your data is stored there. And there it is, actually, the test object. And there's the table that it created the, and the row with the... Um, data saved. Um, the name of the column is foo and the data was bar, right? And so this is just getting started. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually create the login system, okay? And uh, we'll go from there. And by the end of this series, we'll have a login system and leaderboard uh, for any app that you'd want to create. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe.